Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And today you will see how to crochet my new pattern. I created it recently for you. For work I will use 4.5 mm crochet hook and a ball of yarn. All additional information about the tools could be found in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please join me. And let's get started crocheting. So in this video you will see how to use this pattern to create handband, how to crochet the trim for such headband, and how to make back post single crochet, double crochet, and another stitches. Pattern consists of only one round and has four stitches. You can crochet more rounds than I did or less. It depends what size of the handband you would like to get. It is very fast and simple project for any time and I will start to crochet. To start the work by making the foundation chain, make a chain of 80. I will start and you will continue with your own one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pattern consists of four stitches. You can add any amount of chains, but in your case, it should be multiples of four. Let's continue the work. My foundation chain is ready. In my case, the foundation chain made of 80 chains. In your case, it should be more or less, but it must be multiples of 4. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch. It shouldn't be twisted. Before it, you should check it. Make a slip stitch. My round is ready. Pattern consists of one row only. This row will not include into the main pattern. Make a chain of two to bring up the yarn. It's gonna be row one or round one. Insert the hook into the next chain stitch. Pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next chain stitch. Pull up a loop. And pull up a loop through the next stitch. I have got four loops on the hook, then yarn over, pull through first three loops. I have got two loops on the hook, then pull through all loops on the hook. Insert the hook into the top, and make single crochet and single crochet into the same top. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Make half double crochet. Continue. Let's repeat this pattern. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Pull up a loop one. Two, three. I have got four loops on the hook, then yarn over, pull through first three loops and pull through two loops. And two single crochet to the top that I did before. One and two. Yarn over the hook and half double crochet through the next stitch like this keep working in this way till the end of this row and I will repeat one more time insert the hook through the next stitch one two three then yarn over pull through first three loops then pull through two loops and two single crochet into the top. 
one and two and half double crochet through the next stitch. This row will not include into the main pattern. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete it. Let's complete round one. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. My round is ready. I am beginning the main pattern. My pattern consists of only one round and pattern has four stitches. Here they are. Make back post single crochet. For the next round, then chain of two to bring up the yarn. I did back post single crochet and chain of two instead of first back post double crochet. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull up a loop, pull up a loop through the next stitch. Then yarn over, pull through three loops, pull through two loops, and two single crochet one and two. Make back post double crochet around the half double crochet. So I will repeat this round next time. One, two, three, pull through three loops, pull through two loops, and two single crochet one. Here what I have and two and back post double crochet. Let's look what I have done. Let's repeat one more time. Pull up a loop one, two, three, then pull through three loops, pull through two loops, and two single crochet one. Two. Make back post double crochet. Keep working this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete it. Then I will show you how to crochet the next round. Pattern consists of only one round and has four stitches. Let's complete round two or the first round of the main pattern. One two, three, then pull through three loops, pull through two loops, two single crochet, to complete this round work with the slip stitch into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round. My round is ready, so I will repeat this round. Make back post single crochet then chain of two to bring up the yarn. Chain of two to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. Pull through three loops, pull through two loops and two single crochet. One, two. I'm crocheting faster because I showed you before how to crochet. Make back post double crochet, pull up a loop one, two, three, pull through three loops, pull through two loops, two single crochet one and two and back post double crochet. Keep working in this way till the end of this round and you should repeat this pattern as many times as you need for your hand bend. You can crochet more rows for your hand bend or less.
It depends on your size. My headband is almost ready. I just need to continue. Let's complete this round with me. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. My round is ready. And now I show you how to crochet the trim for handband. I'm already done a round of single crochet stitches in the bottom part. Let's crochet the round of the trim. Make a chain, tubing up the yarn, make single crochet into the each chain stitch. Make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous round. One, let's count. And let's count them. One, two, three, and four. One into the back post double crochet. Let's count one, two, three, and the fourth one into the back post double crochet. Let's count one, two, three, and the fourth one into the back post double crochet. So keep working this way till the end of this round. Let's complete the last round. As you can see, I have already cut off my yarn. Insert the hook into the chain stitch on the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round is ready to secure the yarn by making a chain. That's it, my handband is ready. You should remove the yarn along the stitches. Let's look at my headband. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. And bye.